Today I'm going to introduce you to two software suites and another utility that allows you to maintain and keep them up to date as well as get introduced to new ones. The first suite is Windows Sys Internals. It was written by Mark Rasinovich, who is now a developer for Microsoft. And it has tools you may have even come across. Some of the popular ones are Process Explorer, Auto Runs. Process Explorer is a task manager replacement. Auto Runs tells you what is starting on your system. And then Process Monitor tells you the details about a particular process as it's running. There's a whole lot of other useful tools here. The other suite is NERSoft, and they were developed by NERSOFR. And there are a whole bunch of utilities uh, ranging from password recovery, browser, network monitoring, uh, all sorts of things. There's a whole ton here that I won't go into in detail, but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of utilities in both suites, and it can be a difficult task to just keep them up to date. So that's where Windows System Control Center comes into play. It's a portable utility, and all of these utilities on both suites are portable, and so I have them all installed in Dropbox, and the handy part of WSCC is that you can update them all entirely from this application. So you click updates and it will find all of the utilities that are either new versions of them or new applications that you don't have yet and then you can install them. So I say yes, it downloads and installs all of them and puts them where you've configured them to be and then you've got an updated version across the board. And while this is going, another handy use is that you can browse the utilities by category to see what you might not be aware of. So if you're looking for something to look at your network settings and see what's going on in your network, you can both go under SysInternals and NERSoft and look under the network category to find out what you're looking for to see if it's available. In many cases it will be since they're, they're pretty complete. So just going through the settings briefly, you can make some general settings here with tray icons and how the software is viewed. The software, this is the, fortunately they support relative paths. So this is the configuration I use for SysInternals and NERSoft. I have them stored inside. There's another NER launcher that I use. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of using both WSCC and NER launcher if I want. And I could show you NER launcher. It's it's similar in that it gives you the categorized view of it and uh, and can be kind of useful. But I find myself using WSCC. And the last tab is the console tab, which I'll show you in a minute. It basically allows you to run command line utilities uh, from within WSCC. So let's give an example here. If I want to see some system information, for instance, I run PS Info. You can tell the command line utilities by the icon. If they're a Windows GUI, they'll typically have some other icon. This is kind of the icon for CLIs. So this little blank window here. So if we hit PS Info, normally it would run in a console window, but in this case it runs from within WSCC's console window, and you can see information about your system. You can also run parameters or add parameters to the command. So I just learned about this in this utility this morning, core info. It tells you information about your processor. So if you want to upgrade to Windows 8 and want to know if you have the virtualization settings, you can pass in the dash V and then it lets you know that in this case I do. It has hypervisor present and it supports both the AMD hardware assisted vert and AMD nested page tables. So this lets me know that I could install Windows 8 and have hypervisor support with Hyper-V. So NERSOF has uh, similar settings. They, it doesn't seem like there's as many command line utilities here, but there are some. You can see them scrolling by, but it'll do the same thing with a console. And last we have the Windows utilities. So I didn't even notice this uh, for quite some time. I only used it for SysInternals and NERSOF, but there's a whole Windows section here that are categorized just the same way. So if you want to run your registry editor here, you could run resource monitor, start and stop services. They've got some network configurations. 
There's even, you know, file management, check disk, disk defragmenter. You can run a lot of these things right from WSCC. So it's a really handy utility, most useful for managing sys internals and NERSOF, but even gives you a few benefits. And it does have that handy console to run, to quickly run your command line utilities.